this video, I'm going to explain about atherosclerosis. Pretty tricky to say and pretty tricky to spell, but atherosclerosis, in terms of what it is, is actually referred to on a different video. So if you want that one, you need to go and check it out. It's basically me with a foam roller and a pair of socks explaining exactly what atherosclerosis is in simple terms. So go and check that one out. Or you can hang around here where I'm going to explain to you why knowing about atherosclerosis is actually a game changer as a personal trainer or a fitness coach. So just imagine for a second, you are sitting down with your clients for the first time, you've done their consultation, you've done their parkour, everything all looks nice and normal. You take their blood pressure, so you wire them up to the blood pressure machine and you take their blood pressure. And as you take their blood pressure, you notice a few things. You notice that it's a bit high, just a little bit high. Maybe it's 150 over 90 or maybe it's 140 over 95, but it's over that 140 systole and 90 diastole. If it's over that, then you need to be considering the fact that their blood pressure is high. That is high usually as a result of atherosclerosis. There could be other reasons. The other reasons are things like high salt intake, it could also be that they're very stressed, it could be that their heart rate's elevated, but essentially it is most likely to be down to atherosclerosis. If this is the case and your client has high blood pressure, then there are a couple of things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is refer them to a GP because if your client has high blood pressure, they have an accumulation of stressors in their body to the point it's affecting their blood pressure whilst resting. So imagine what happens when they add a stressor of exercise, their blood pressure can go through the roof and that's not what we need. It's not good for the idea of strokes or heart attacks. If you're looking to work with more clients that have atherosclerosis or high blood pressure or to be honest any other common clinical condition then I definitely suggest you check out the exercise referral qualification. This will allow you to work with healthcare professionals and also understand the ins and outs of 14 different common clinical conditions. This is something that we do here at Parallel Coaching so make sure you click the link that is with this video so that you can find out more about how you can become an exercise referral specialist and help even more clients reach their health and fitness goals. As well as referring to the GP or maybe if your client's blood pressure is just on the high side but it's still safe then you want to make sure that you are doing a few things in terms of lifestyle change. The first of that is get them moving really gently. Now this means advising them to go for walks. Um, and increasing that general activity. So even if it's when they're on the phone, they stand up and they walk around their bedroom or they walk around their office at work or going to the water cooler or walking at lunch or something that will allow them to be a little bit more active because this is going to increase the number of HDLs, high density lipoproteins in the blood, which is also going to have a massive impact at combating the atherosclerosis. The other side that you need to do is consider the amount of nutritional advice you're giving them. So you want to increase all the good stuff, which you know is all the vegetables, making sure you're cutting out all the processed foods. And also as part of that processed foods, you really want to limit trans fats. They're the big baddies that are going to increase the number of low density lipoproteins in the blood and really contribute to those plaques that build up and cause atherosclerosis. So you wanna make sure reducing trans fats, going for walks, increasing fruit and vegetables, making sure that they are drinking plenty of water and ideally reducing their salt intake, especially if they're adding it to foods. So they're the main things that are gonna help contribute to lowering the risk of atherosclerosis. So if your client has blood pressure that is on the high side of normal, but it's still normal, implement those lifestyle changes straight away. If your client has blood pressure that is high, i.e. over 140 over 90, then you need to refer them on to the GP so they can get safe before they go about exercising. So now you have all the tips you need to know about how to deal with atherosclerosis and what it is. And if you can explain that to your client, all the better. But I would love to hear from you. What is atherosclerosis? Do you, can you actually verbalize that in a statement that your clients would understand? Drop it in a comment below. What does it mean? I look forward to reading your comments, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.